Hello, hello, hello. I just hit the record or go live button. And uh, while I am uh, before, or rather, before I get started, I want to make sure you can hear me. Mm. There we go. Perfect. Awesome. Hello. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Cassandra, aka the Daily Wealth Ninja, and it is Sunday, my time. I just hit um, the 10 minutes too, so I, I was able to make it on, the, on time. But uh, why does that matter? So last year, I made the decision that of all the things that I've learned over the course of my life, I want to help people and empower them to create their financial success. There are so many different ways to do that in the world these days. You could be an entrepreneur. You could be be a direct salesperson. You could uh, do Forex. And I just want to share as much as I can um, to get that knowledge around because especially with Forex, it was not available to the regular person like you and me prior to the invention of the internet. You had to have Buku's amount of money. You had to be living in New York and London to be able to do it. And this is the only skill set that I have ever seen that allows you to create your, excuse me, potentially create your dream income without having to be a salesperson. Now, as you can see up above here, past results are not typical and do not guarantee nor dictate your future success. Your results are based off of your level of education, your your risk management, your level of appetite, and um, your ability to be able to implement what you learn. So in today's video, I wanted to share with you uh, a couple of, um, I think it was seven, pretty sure it was seven, yeah, <laughs> seven, seven reasons um, why I choose, well, seven big reasons why I choose Forex over stocks. Now, uh, Forex versus stocks. There are a lot of people who are trading when it was with stocks, and it's not bad. It's just for the most part, you can't really get in and out quickly without having penalties. You can't really, you know, um, potentially earn a whole lot uh, unless you buy and hold. And even then, you know, you're you're hoping and praying it goes in your direction, right? So here are the seven reasons why I, or well, seven major reasons why I chose forex over stocks. Hey, Marco, thanks so much for joining. So first of all, on the stocks, there are over 20, I'm going to be looking at my phone here to keep, to keep, uh, keep track. Um, so in the stock market, there are over 2,800 different choices on the New York Stock Exchange. 2,800, okay? There are over 3,100 on the NASDAQ, so that's 3,100, 2,800, 5,900 options on the stock market exchange. But the difference is, is that most people with Forex trade only four major pairs. So that would be the US dollar, the European uh, euro, the Japanese yen, and the Great British pound. So with, with Forex, you're actually buying and selling at the same time, usually, uh, pairs. So it might be the Great British Pound Euro dollar or something, or it might be Australian dollar or whatever, right? You have those options. So instead of it being 5,900 different options, you generally only have a few that you really um, would focus on. The second option or second reason why Forex versus stocks is that Forex is a 24-hour market, whereas the stock exchange is only open during a certain time of the day. Forex is open 24 hours a day, five days a week, and you can trade at any time. Third reason is that there are minimum or no commissions to trade with Forex. Um, so therefore, trade costs are lower than other markets, such as the, the stock market. And most brokers are actually um, comped through their bid ask spread. Now, there are some that do have um, commissions, things like that. You to be sure to understand that about your broker before you get involved with Forex. Number four, under normal conditions and normal trading when there's not, you know, high volatility or some major disaster going on, right? Under normal conditions, unless there's extremely volatile market conditions, trades executed instantly. So that means that it's real time um, streaming prices. And so you're not waiting or it might not, it's, it's not going to change um, in a few minutes because you have to go through whatever for, for for stocks. It is immediate transactions, unless there's some, again, some outlying factor. Number five, when you're short selling, there's no uptick. So in stocks, you have to, there's other rules for stocks with, with shorting. Um, but with Forex, your trade opportunity exists because each trade uh, involves buying buying one currency pair and selling the other. And I've, I've gone over this in another video. So if you're not quite unsure how that works, please let me know or be sure to check out my YouTube channel. So like I said, um, 
in every Forex trade, you are buying one currency and selling another, whereas in stocks, you are only shorting one option, right? Um, number six, there's no middlemen, right? And with a stock market, you have to go through um, a middleman, as it were, uh, to get things done. Whereas with Forex, you have quicker access and cheaper costs, and you don't have to worry about the middleman to, to deal with all that stuff. All right, um, numbers, there's there's actually two to this, but I, I kind of lop them into one. So first of all, um, the buy-sell programs uh, do not control the market. So for example, you might hear of a company or something buying a particular um, uh stock, right? This can have a huge impact, right? Those those can make some um, huge waves. But the thing with a Forex is that, hey, Roel, thanks so much for joining. The thing with Forex is that the Forex is so massive. It's like a multi-trillion dollar um, st uh, exchange versus the stock, which is not, not not quite as large, all right? So this massive size of Forex market makes the likelihood of any one particular fund or bank controlling the currency very, very small, okay? And then this last one, which I said is kind of locked into number seven, is that the analysts or brokerage firms are less likely to influence the market, right? They're, they just are because of how big it is and um, um, all, the, all the different players involved and things like that. So for a recap, uh, forex versus versus stocks, right? So, forex versus stocks. So, 24-hour trading, forex has it, stocks does not. Um, minimum no commissions, forex has it, stock does not. Instant order execution, forex has it, stock does not. Short selling without uptick, forex has it, stock does not. Uh, no middleman, forex has it, stock does not. And then finally, no market manipulation. Well, I mean, there is manipulation, but nothing where a single individual or a single uh, bank can make huge uh, changes. Uh, Forex has that. Uh, stocks are not. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. Thank you so much for joining. If you liked what you heard, there should be a link above below this video for you to join my free group. I also have a five-day Forex Basics Bootcamp for free. Just send my Facebook page, Daily Wealth Ninja, this message right here, 5DBC, and my messenger bot will send you information on how to get that information and um, as well as join my, my group. Now, I am only able to do this at least once a week at this point. I have a full-time day job as a programmer. I have a business as a digital marketing coach, and obviously I'm doing Forex as well. So if you want to really minimize your learning curve, you have to not only become educated, but also get involved with a group of people you can trust. And that's why I am so grateful that if, um, someone introduced me to the the um, system that I use to not only build up my own knowledge, but also help others along the way. If you are looking for someone, or excuse me, for a system that not only teaches you about Forex and crypto, if you're interested, but teaches you about Forex, um, gives you the tools with which to find those trades, and over 60 plus hours every single week live mentoring, and, and, and the community, right? If you're looking for something like that, go ahead and hit me up. I'd love to share with you exactly what it is that I'm doing and how I'm able to get this type of information. Because like I said, this was not available to the regular person before the, before the invention of the internet. Most people don't know about this. And that's why I've made it my mission to start sharing what, I'm, what I know and what I'm learning so that you have the opportunity to create your own success. So again, thank you so much for watching. My name is Cassandra. If you like what you saw, please be sure to turn on the live if you're on Facebook or hit the subscribe button um, somewhere around here with a little bell to be notified of the next time I go live. So again, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful and prosperous rest of your day, and I will see you on the next one.